this video, I'll show you how to use MATLAB to interpolate a function. In an interpolation problem, we are given a set of xy values, and we want to interpolate to a different set of xx, yy values. MATLAB has the function interp1.m to do this. The two most common interpolation methods are linear and spline. Spline is the cubic spline method using the not a not condition. Let's try this in MATLAB. Let's try out the interp1 function. Um, set up some points and a function. So um, let's choose some points in x from 0 to 2 pi, separated by pi over 4. So 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, etc., to 2 pi. And then uh, the y then will be the sign of these values of x. Let's look at this in a plot. So I will uh, plot Uh, these x, y values with uh, circles, and we can uh, hold on so that the plot will stay there. So let's run. Here is our plot. So you see that these points are separated by pi over 4, and you can see the sine function here, but um, there's a lot of gap between the different points. So I want to test this interp1 uh, cubic spline interpolation and see how nicely it can fit these uh, points. So let's uh, close the figure. And um, uh, do uh, interpolation to uh, a much finer grid in x. So I will set um, xx the points that we're interpolating to, to a linear grid, lin space, from 0 to 2 pi with 1,000 points instead of these sparse points that are, are separated by a distance of pi over 4. And then we can uh, interpolate to y, so I'll use the interp1 function and set y, y then equal to interp1 of x, y, that's our data, the sparse points and the sign, to interpolate to x, x to get the value of y, y, and we'll use the cubic spline interpolation. Uh, so let's look at the uh, plot. So we'll plot uh, our interpolation, interpolation x, x, y, y, and I'll color that in red. So let's run and look at the points and the interpolating function. So we see that the um, interp1 gives a very smooth function. This is cubic spline interpolation. It has to go through all the points, but it looks very much like a sine function. We ought to look to see it, how good it actually is. So let's compare that then to a plot of the actual sine function. And I can uh, color that in blue. So let's run again. And it's very hard to tell, see the red curve from the blue curve. Uh, we can zoom in uh, maybe at this end here you can see a little bit of a difference between red and blue. We can zoom in more and more. So you see they're, they're not exactly the same, but they're pretty close. So the cubic spline interpolation does actually a remarkable job on this uh, sine function. The MATLAB function interp1.m can be used for linear or cubic spline interpolation. It's another useful tool to have in your toolbox. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.